now we ask you by in prayer and meditation as Bishop Leach shall lead us in prayer. Precious Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy toward the human family. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this week of service as the junior missionary showers a blessing being held here at headquarters, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. We want to thank you, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, for our lead and apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Lord, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your loving kindness, that how you have blessed him down through the years. Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you, Lord, for the assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. As he come before the people, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray the anointing upon him, Lord. Lord, bless his mouth, Heavenly Father. Give him the words, Heavenly Father. Lord, that he would utterance and give the boldness to make known the mystery of your eternal word. Heavenly Father, we pray the blessing upon him, Lord. Lord, God Almighty, Heavenly Father, that he may call out, Heavenly Father, the sheep that gone astray. Lord, to bring them back to the sheepfold. Heavenly Father, only you, Lord. Lord, God Almighty, we want to thank you, Lord, for your servant, Bishop Melvin Samuel. Lord, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the saints of God. Lord, they come, Heavenly Father, for this week of service, Heavenly Father. Lord, the junior missionary shower blessing. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, God Almighty, at the choir, sing the songs of Zion. Lord, that somebody's heart and mind would be refreshed. Lord, somebody would know, Heavenly Father, what they must do to be saved. Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you, Lord, as your word go out, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you for the saints that are being healed and being delivered, Heavenly Father, out of the hands of the enemy. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord God Almighty, Lord, to strengthen them, Lord. Lord, to give them power and give them might, Lord, that they may overcome. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, for those in the institution. Lord, door behind the prison wall. Lord, we pray, Lord, that your word would encourage their heart. Heavenly Father, that they may cry out. Lord, God Almighty, what they must do to be saved. Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Heavenly Father, for the governors and the president. We pray for those in authority. Lord, we want to pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, God Almighty, for the people of God, Heavenly Father, in national and international. Lord, we want to thank you for them, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you open up their hearts and mind, Lord. Lord, God Almighty, as the word go out. Lord, God Almighty, as we return from darkness to light. We want to thank you for all that you've done, Lord, and all that you're going to do. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name, we pray to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible, True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now have a selection from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir dedicated to all radioists entitled Jesus on the Main Line. I know Jesus is on the main line. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. I know Jesus is on the main line. Why 
Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church in Locates Power, headquartered in New York City, 2075, Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer, Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant. Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin Luther King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Minister Thomas Noah, Assistant. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Street on the corner at Capicella and Elkin Street. Elder Lee Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Assistant. Gloucester, Virginia, Route 17 near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William in charge, Minister Ernest Page, Assistant. Evergreen, North Carolina, 10362 on Lumberton Road. Near the Lennon Crossroad, Elder Samuel Wilder, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Pender Street. Bishop Green, Pastor. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor. Bishop Randy Mack, Assistant. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District. Bishop Willie Bleach, Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford, Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilk, Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Albert and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston, Pastor. Camden, Florida, 2385 Contra Drive. Bishop Green, Pastor. Akin Deacon Charles Jones, in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddie Stone <coughs> Avenue, Unit 23. Located near James Lynch. Bishop Carl Newell. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, Bishop Melvin Samuel. He is a healer. Hey. He is a healer. Hey. He is a healer. Amen. Amen. He is a healer. He is a healer. He is a healer. Amen. He is a healer. He is a healer. He's a healer. Amen. I love him. I love him. I love him. Amen. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Amen. 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 Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Truly, indeed, again, we want to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He is worthy of it all. Thank God for that song. I want to dedicate that song to our dearly beloved Mother Michelle Newton. Amen. I believe God saints. We believe God. 
He is a healer. You know the devil is a liar. God is a healer. I, God, we believe God's word. And we praise him and thank him from the depths of our heart. We do honor our very own beloved bishop and apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Thank God for him. Allow me this privilege to fill in his stead to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. I have no doubt in my heart it's going to be just like God said it. I believe he's a healer. He's a healer. I don't care what it is. I don't care what sickness it is. We got a God. He's a healer. Yes. You better get me. I was singing. I look at our beloved Mother Newton. Thank God for his companion, Minister Newton, uh, Bible reader. Thank God for her and our press. My God, the devil is a liar. Oh, yeah. I want the world to know That's right. that God, he's a healer. Hallelujah. God is a, I don't care what it is. He leave it and record for us. My God, you better get me Psalms 34 and verse 19. Oh, if you can just believe in God. He work a miracle. He's a miracle working God. I don't care what you confronted with. God is a healer. I believe God. I feel just like the Apostle Paul told them. And the ship, my God, it will rock with the wind. You rather them come at him. But in the midst of it all, when all hope were gone, yes. Apostle Paul tell them, Sir, I believe God. I'm saying when a man or a woman doesn't believe God's word, and said to his her seal that God's word is true, you can look for victory. Amen. I don't have no doubt in my heart. It's going to be just like God said it. My God read in Psalms 34, 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous. My God, David done been through a lot. But he said many. Are the affliction? Many are the affliction of the righteous, of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. I, God, you know, God, our God that we serve, He's a deliverer. I don't Amen. care what it is, you got to hold your confidence in God. Yes, yes. The Lord. Deliver him out of them all. I believe it's going to be just like God said it. The purpose of God going to stand forever. Amen. I don't care what. Rise up. Amen. I got to rejoice. This week I hear the saints. Hear the showers of blessing. Amen. Thank God for the showers of blessing. Week of service. Amen. Hear the saints going through their affliction. My God, even the National International Trail Lady of the Senior Missionary, she been battling. But what a mighty God. You know, God is an untimed God. Yes. All God wants us to do to hold our confidence in God. Amen. My God, God, I don't care how bad it looks. God is a healer. Yes, he is. I don't care how bad the condition looks. She's been suffering with this affliction for many years, quite a while. But here come God. Here come God. She got a strong testimony, son. How God came in. My God and God deliver her. Oh, yes. And give her the victory. Yes. If you can just believe in God. On, he work a oh, miracle. God. God know I feel like shouting for victory. My God, I don't have a jawbone in me. 
All I see is victory. My God, every child of God, you got to come out. He is a healer. My God, you don't have to see anything for God to work. He can work without you see anything. That's the God we serve. My God, he told her one place, I believe, I believe over there in, in Second Kings, the third chapter, and verse 17. My God, you know, they call, they call, the king called. Say, is there not a man of God yes. among us? My God, they were doubting, but my God. God, he believed God's word. Second Kings, third chapter and verse 17. But thus said the Lord. You know, God can give you the victory without you see anything. I'm looking for victory. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I believe God's word. Thus said the Lord. You should not see when. You don't have to see anything to get your victory. God can work without you seeing anything. He shall not see wind. Neither shall you see rain. My God, what a mighty God we serve. God can give you the victory without you seeing anything. Neither shall you see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water. God say, I'm going to, no wind, no rain. Yeah. But God said, the valley going to be filled. Fill with Hallelujah. Water. God can fill something for you and give you the victory. The devil is a liar. God is a healer. Yet the valley shall be filled. Shall be filled. With water. With water. That you may drink. That he may drink. Both ye and your cattle. Both he and your beasts. And your beasts. And this is but a light thing. My God, the thing that seemed impossible with men. God will turn around. He said, and this is what? But a light thing. It is but a light thing. In the sight of the Lord. My God, in the sight of man, it might be like a mountain. But in the sight of God, yes. God know how to work that thing out. In the sight of the Lord, it is. But a light thing. I don't care what the test may be. I don't care what you're facing right now. My God, in the sight of the Lord. Yes. In this, God know how to work it out. Amen. You know, you know what Mary, what Mary, Mary told him in Luke. I believe Luke 1, 37. Fight your back up with God, by God, Amen. true God. You got to get your victory. I don't care how bad it looks. It might seem impossible with man. But keep your eyes on God. What is saying Luke chapter 1 and verse 37. For with God, that's who I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the flesh. I'm looking at who? With God. I'm looking at God. For with God. The impossible. He will turn the impossible into possible. If you can just step aside. And let God fight your battle. For with God. Nothing. I God I want to warn I uh, thank God for the radio listeners. The ones over there get a call this week from the UK. Last week, I say, I thank God for you. Thank God for the gospel. That I say, what I love about you. You're not out there fighting and calling people names. You're just preaching the word. I say, oh, that's what I believe in. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. He charged Paul, charged Timothy, do what? Preach the word. Yes. You don't have to fight. Let God fight your battle. Let, I don't care what you're facing right now. My God, she constantly called me. 
up to yesterday court. They are about five or six hours ahead of us. But my God, she called me sometime four o'clock in the morning. She and the family wake me up. Say, we're listening to the word of God. Thank God for the word of God. Let God fight for your saints. Don't fight your battle. My God, one place he told him, you won't need to fight in this battle. Why? The battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. My God, if you can just step aside and let God fight for you, you got to come out with the victory. What Mary said in Luke, Chapter 1, verse 37. But with God. My God saying, you know, you can pull that thing down. I don't care how bad it looks. Just let God fight for you. Yes. For with God. Nothing. I don't care what it is. <clears throat> with God. Nothing. Nothing. Shall be impossible. Nothing. Hold your confidence in God. Don't stagger at the promise of God through unbelief. The devil wants you to stagger, but the more you hold your confidence in God, the smaller the problem becomes. It might be like a mountain, but with God... All you out there in Rain Line and other parts, and the sound of my voice hearing this radio broadcast, I'm here to tell you God is able. God is able. God is doing a mighty work. I have the saints just came in and called me, well, and tell me, the young daughter, 13 years old, God fill her with the Holy Ghost. God's still on the throne. He's still adding to the church. Sister Crocker and Deacon Crocker, daughter. My God, God fill her with the Holy Ghost. Came in and hugged me today. My God, God. God is still adding to the church. Daily. Such as should be saved. My God. God, you know, I thank God for the mighty work what God is doing among us within his lost and evil days. Going back, listen what the word of God said. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. You should not see when. You don't have to see anything. I'm holding God. My God, let sickness come. Yes. But don't let go of the gospel. Amen. Let trouble come. Praise God. But don't let go of the gospel. Hold your confidence yes. in God. You don't have to see nothing to get the victory. My God does said the Lord. You should not see when. You don't have to see when. Neither shall you see rain. Neither should he see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water. My God. God, God know how to fill it up. He know know how to bring it out. Shall be filled. Yeah, Hallelujah. I believe every child of God coming out. I don't care how bad it look. Shall be filled. With water. With water. That you may drink. Both that ye and your cat. Read on. And your beasts. And your beasts. And this is but a light thing in the sight it of the Lord. It might look like a mountain. In your sight, you see what the devil is a liar. Oh, yes. He wants you to faint. But you know, uh, Solomon in Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. I don't care what the condition is. I don't care how bad it looks. A child of God coming out. We ain't going to let it get us down. My God, sometimes I do feel like running away from the night. You know, sometimes I'm up here, I feel like running away from the night. Because all I see is victory. I don't see no failure in God. All I see is victory. Yeah. The devil is a liar. A child of God will accept no defeat. He wants you to faint. He wants you to back up. But listen what he say. Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint. If thou faint. In the day's adversity. 
adversity gonna My come. strength is small. The test gonna come. But he said, that's why you think Jews and he beloved. Yes. Building up, you got to stay built up. And your most holy faith, praying. Prayer will fix. Come on now, Bishop. Hallelujah. We got to pray our way out. We coming out. Faith said we out already. Hallelujah. Devil look for us to fail. But we want you to know. We won't fail. If you faint. In the days of adversity. Trouble gonna come. But if you faint. In the days of adversity. In the day of adversity. Adversity. Hallelujah. Your strength is small. It's small. That's why Jews say, but he beloved, stay built up in yes. God. Pray and fasting. In the book of Jew 1 and 20. Listen what the man of God say. Hallelujah. Amen. But he beloved. Building up yourself. Stay built up, saints. As long as you stay built up, you got to come out with the victory. I don't care how bad the condition is. As long as you stay built up in God, you coming out with the victory. But he belongs. Building up yourself. Building up yourself. On your most holy faith. And your most holy faith. Holy faith. Praying. Do what? Praying. Praying. Holy Ghost. You can't get the victory without prayer. Why you think he said, Jesus spake these words. Men ought always to pray. Not to faint. Don't let, he said, if you faint. Yes. In the day of adversity. Yes. Strength is small. How big is your strength? My God, but when you get built up in God, you look at that problem and you talk to that problem. And tell that thing I'm coming out. I'm coming out. All I see is victory. I don't see no failure. Ain't no failure in God. But he belongs. Build up yourself. Stay built up. In order for you to get strong and get the victory, you got to stay built up. Don't let that problem get you down. Building up your soul. The Holy Ghost. Do what? Praying. P praying. Praying. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying. In the Holy Ghost. It's a man out always to pray and not to faint. Praying. In the Holy Ghost. Praying. Pray not to go a long way. I don't care how you desire to make it. When he were here in that body, he had to pray. Oh yes. Oh, yes. He had to pray. Yes. He prayed in that body. My God. Proverbs, Proverbs 15. I believe in verse 8. I don't care. I don't care how excellency a speech I come with. I might be loaded with man wisdom. But it's going to take pride. Paul said, for this cause, I, Paul, do what? Bow, you better bow those knees before God. You, here's one thing, I can talk, but you can't talk away to you. You're going to have to get down on your oh, knees. Yes. Listen to what he say, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 8. The sacrifice of the wicked. The sacrifice of the wicked. Of the wicked. Is an abomination to the Lord. Abomination to, to the Lord. Lord. But the prayer of the upright. Oh God delight in the prayer. Hallelujah. The prayer. Keep on praying saints. Send those prayers up there. The prayers up the upright. It is delight. Hallelujah. God delight. In the prayer of the upright. My God, you know, you can pray your way on out. I don't care. Daniel prays way out. Oh, yes. When Daniel knew that the writing was signed, everything done gone against Daniel. Yes. 
it was his manner to pray. I'm saying to the saints of God, you got to pray your way on out. My God, my God. You got to men out always to pray Amen. and not to faint. The prior up the upright. This is the light. God the light. God the light in the prayers. Up the upright. Trouble gonna come. But don't stop praying. You're gonna be tested. Oh yes. You're gonna be tried. Amen. You better get me axe. Chapter 27 and verse 14. Something gonna rise up. But stay on those knees. You know you can subdue it. Oh yes you can. Hallelujah. I hear, I, uh, I hear Isaiah say. No weapon. That form against us. Something gonna rise up. But you can. Pull it on down. Oh, yes. He said in Isaiah chapter 54, 17, no weapon. I don't care what rise up. Amen. God say it won't prosper. Every tongue that rise up, he know how to bring it on down. My God, God can subdue something. I feel good talking about God. My God, you can get strong in God. Get me that scripture I called before Isaiah there, sir. My God, you will come out with the victory. I don't care what it is. Send those prayers up. Saints, don't never stop praying. My God, you might have a lot of, I might have a lot of excellency of speech or man wisdom. Paul said he sat at the feet at Gamela, who was them? He was a doctor of the law, taught the law. But Paul still had to go and humble himself oh, and yes. bow Amen. before God. That's it. My God, he said that at the name of Jesus, every knee, I don't care how much speech you come with, you still God, you still gonna bow before God. Because God said. He won't give his glory to another. God is God Almighty. All right. Acts 27 verse. Verse 14. Something going to rise up. But not long after. Not long after. Not long after you get one victory. Something else coming at you. Not long after. There arose against it a temperance wind called uh, Eurapolis. You wrapped it up. And when the ship was caught. So my God, something gonna come at you. When the ship was caught, I could not bear up into the wind. Could not bear up into the wind. We let her dry. Let her dry. And run under a certain island. Yes. Which is called Claudia. Yes. We had much work to come it's by a, the boat. It's a lot of labor. It called for all out sacrifice over here. That's it. Much work. It called for a lot of labor. Praise God. Much work. To come by the boat. Hallelujah. Which when we had taken up. Read on. They use help. They, you, you know, we need one another help. My God, my God. We need. Let the strong. Do what? Bear. Bear. The infirmity. Bear with one another. That's it. You see one going through. Ninth your head. Put away food from your tabernacle. My sister going through. My mother going through. I'm going to knight my head. Hallelujah. Make a sacrifice for somebody else going through. My God, they use help. Read on. Which when they had taken up. Yes. They used help to ungirdle the ship. And girded the ship. And fearing lest they should fall into quicksand. Read on. Straight, straight sail. Yes. So we're driven. Read on. And we being exceedingly tossed with the temperance. Something going to come along, say. If you haven't been there, it's coming. Come on, Bishop. If you haven't get there, something coming. Amen. Something coming. Something coming. I want to warn you. After you, I don't preach, something coming. The trying of your faith. 
Your faith going to be tried to the limit. After you don't shout. Something coming. I used, to, I used to love to hear this sing this song. There is a storm. Out on the ocean. And what? It's moving. Hallelujah. It's moving this whole way. If your soul not anchor. Make sure you anchor beloved. If you're not anchor, that thing surely, hallelujah, you're going to be drift away. But when you anchor, listen, Paul was anchor. Yeah, Read on. Seen the chart with the tempest. Something going to come and toss you with the tempest. The next day they lighten the ship. Read on. And the third day we cast out. With our own hands, the tackling of the ship. Read on. And when the sun, when neither sun nor star, neither sun nor star, in many days appear. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're looking, but nothing appear. Amen. But what? And no small tempest laid on us. Read on. Laid on us. Yes. All hope that we should be saved. Sometimes. And taken away. They look so hopeless. Come on, Bishop. The thing that. Hallelujah. I, I, God, I can talk about God. Jesus. Glory. Jesus. I remember when I get electrocuted. My God, it looks so hopeless. Yeah. I look at death. I don't have to add nothing. You look in a man down, look at death. Came through the wind and grabbed my feet. And it seemed like the bread of life leaving the man. The man of God, Bishop Goodwin, gone on the street, tell me, yeah, said, God, tell me, you don't have to go. I'm going to send the angel. Amen. The angel's stronger. He can do more. I was praying. I said, Lord, by the time the angel come, I'm gone. They're going to see a dead body in the bed. But I will hold it on to faith in God. I give the late minister James Weber the key. I say, here's the key. He said, what's the matter? I say, I ain't coming back in here like this. My God, my hand all locked together. But my God, it look hopeless. It look hope. Sometimes the condition look hopeless. But you know what David said? I would have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So I have to hold on to faith in God. It looks so hopeless. All hope. All hope. That we should be saved was then taken away. Then taken away. But after a long absence. My God. Long. See the hand locked up. They tell me they won't be able to want to cut it off. Mm. After a long absence. Paul stood in the midst of them. Glory. And said. Listen this. Sir. That's your victory. Yes, My God. I don't care how bad the condition. Yes, yes. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Oh yes. Somebody says say to my soul take courage. The Lord going to make a way somehow. I don't see no way, but sir, you should have hearkened unto me. You should have hearkened unto me. From Creek, read on. And to have gained this harm and loss, read on. And now, now, I exhort you to be of good cheer. My God is a blessing to be around somebody that loaded with faith. Amen. I exhort you, you to be of good cheer. To be of good cheer. There should be no loss of any man life. Any man life. Among you, but of the ship. But of the ship. For there stood by me this night. Hallelujah. There stood by me. This night. He was holding on to God. My God. I don't believe nobody gonna get hurt. But the ship. But. They stood by me this night. The angel of God. Uh, this man was holding on to God. An angel of God. Who, is, who I am. Who I am. And whom I serve. And who I serve. Saying. Saying. Fear not Paul. Don't let the devil. If he can get you to start doubting. That's it, Bishop. And start fearing. Why you think David said I would have fainted. 
Unless I, when I look at my hand and see turn white and the flesh and everything locked together. I got to have to encourage myself. Though you slay me, yeah. yet I'm still going to trust you. Fear not. Oh. Wherever you are. Fear not. Fear not, Paul. Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar. Read on. And lo. Lo. God has given thee all them that sail with thee. That sail with thee. Wherefore, sir. Why, God, faith in God. Wherefore, son, glory to God. It's a blessing to have a man of God around. My God, I'm saying it's a blessing to have a man of God around in the midst of the trouble when all hope for them to be saved was taken away. But here come faith. Wherefore, son, good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, for I believe God. What? I believe God. I believe God. It should be even as it was told me. When a man or a woman don't believe God and set to his, her seal, God's word is true. Oh, You're yes. coming out with the victory. Joy, God, Job said, though he slay me, yet I'm still going to trust them. All my pilot time, I'm going to wait. A change got to come. So, be of good cheer. I feel like running. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. But there should be no loss of any man's life. Hallelujah. Right, but off the ship. So, be of good cheer. I God, in the midst of all the trouble, he said, be of good cheer. cheer. Faith will make you look beyond the trouble and tell yourself I'm coming out. Faith make you start singing to yourself. I ain't going to wait till the battle is over. I'm going to shout now. I don't see no failure in God. So, hallelujah. I ain't gonna wait till the battle is over. I'm gonna shout right now. I believe God. So, do you hear what it say? Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Good cheer. Yes. But there should be no loss. Read on. Of any man's life among you. Among you. But of the ship. But of the ship. There stood by me this night. I, God, the man of God, have connection with God. It's a blessing to be around somebody that have connection with God. Amen. They stood by me. This night. This night. The angel of God. The angel of God. Whose I am. Read on. And who I serve. Who I serve. Saying. Saying. Fear not, Paul. My God, you know, in the midst of all the trouble. My God. Oh, he cast it out all doubt and all fear. Fear not, Paul. Yes, Those. God must be brought before Caesar. Read on. And, and lo, lo, God has given thee all them that sail with thee. Wait a minute. Say, God have given thee all them that sail with yes, thee. What it said Read on. Wherefore, sir. Wherefore, sir. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I believe God. My God. I'm saying it's a blessing to be around a believer. A believer will look at the condition and talk to her and say, I'm coming out. I don't have no doubt, saints, we got to come out. The church coming out. Yes. I don't care what you're up against. You coming out. Every child, you better get me Acts, the third chapter and verse one. My God, oh, Peter, there was a believer. Yes. There was a man of God. Peter and John went up together into the temple. Together is a blessing when you can come together. My God, if you can just wear two or three are gather together in his name. He said he's in the midst. Get with somebody that believe like you believe. Can two walk together except they agree? Oh, Peter and John. Yeah, went up together. They were together. Into the table. I love to get together with the believer. I can wrestle till I pull it on down. 
I'm not going to lie to you. Sometime I rolled in my bed. When I rolled this morning, I rolled, I rolled in my bed. I'm on my knees. Get up off my knees. When I, when I look at the clock, get ready to go to the, when I look at the time, it was after six, after six a.m. this morning. What's the matter? Down on my knees. When trouble come, I want to talk with Jesus. You know, he was our example. You know, there were many places where he prayed all night long. He went up in the mountain to pray and pray all night long. Sometimes you got to stay on that knees. Sometimes you got to put away food from your tabernacle. Sometimes you got to get rid of food. What's the matter? I like God just a closer walk with Jesus. I believe God. It's going to be just like God said it. He got the power. Oh, Read on Acts yes. chapter 3rd chapter and verse 1. Yes, Peter and John went up together into the temple. Get together with somebody believe like you believe. I don't get to get with somebody now opposing faith. Jesus said, have faith in God. That's it. Make sure you get together with somebody believe Hallelujah. just like you believe. Yes. God, that's why having such great effect. My sister over there, she done right from the UK. Whole family. They crying out. My God. He said, people over here so jealous. You know, you're preaching such a wholesome gospel. I love it. You're not calling names or anything. But uh, I don't want, the, you don't have to call my name, sir. But my name is so and so. I said, that's all right. I won't call your name. But she said, I thank God for the gospel you're preaching. I thank God. Peter and John. And John went up together into the temple, the hour of prayer. The hour stay. Have, I have respect for that hour of prayer. The hour of prayer. Being the ninth hour. Be, you see, they have Jesus. Jesus asked them, could you not pray with me an hour? That's what he said. Some people criticize. They, 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 <laughs> my light is on. Yeah. All right. They criticize the hour of prayer. Yeah. But you better pray. Right. At the hour of prayer. Yeah, being the ninth hour. Being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried. Was carried. Whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple. Read on. Which is called beautiful. Beautiful. To ask arm of them that enter into the temple. Read on. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple. About to go in the temple. Ask their arm. Ask and arms. Peter fastened his eyes upon him. Read on. And John. Read on. And said, look on us. My God, look at us. And he gave heed unto it's them. It's a blessing when you, can, when, you can, when you can connect with somebody contending for the faith. He gave heed. Yes. Expecting. Expecting to receive. Read on. Something of them. Something of them. Then Peter said. Peter said. Silver and gold. I know what you're looking for. But what you're looking for, we don't have that. Silver and gold have I none. Silver and gold have I none. Such as I have. Such as I have. Give I thee. I'm going to give it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Rise. I don't care what the condition. You know God can lift you out that condition. Yes. Rise up. Rise up and walk. My God say, I don't have no doubt in my heart. Every child of God coming out. Rise up. And he took him by the right hand. Took him by the and right hand. You, know, you know God can lift you out that condition you're in. I don't care what it is. We walk by faith and not by sight. God can lift you out that condition. Lift him up. Yes, and lift him up immediately. Immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. God, that man were there all those years. All right, my God, you that are out there, God can turn it for you. I don't care what it is. You know, God can turn it. God can turn it. You better close me out in Luke one and seventy. 
Luke chapter 1 verse 70. Yes, and as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophet. Read on. Which have been since the world began. Since the world began. That we should be saved. We should be saved. From our enemies. From our enemies. From the hand of all that hate us. I don't care what it is. All that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our father. Read on. And to remember his holy covenant. His holy covenant. The oak which he square by our father. To read, our father. Read on. Abraham. Abraham. That he will grant unto us. Grant unto we us. We deliver out of the hands of the enemy. Somebody can be delivered. Oh, yeah. Somebody out there tonight. Having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you can be delivered. When they heard this, they were, they were pricking their heart. Said unto Peter, unto the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can be delivered. Then they that uh, heard the word. I received this word. Gladly received it. Were what? Baptized. Baptized. In the same day. Same day. They were added unto them about 3,000 souls. It don't have to be 3,000. It was just that one you know. Says, see here is water. What does send me to be baptized? Philip say, if thou believest, thou mayest. All right, wherever you are, call us up, write to us. God bless you. You can be delivered from the hands of the enemy. Somebody can be delivered. You don't have to walk around here bound. I'm saying you can be delivered. Hi, right, God. God bless you. God keep you. Call we'll us up. be back next week, Lord's willing. The same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call us via WhatsApp, 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net again. You can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you with our prayer.
Shots of praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Let's give God another hand clap. Thank God. Let's give God a hand clap for Brother Laquan and the Cena Choir. Thank God. They did a wonderful job. I tell you, they're coming out with some powerful stuff. Oh, yeah, they do a great job. Just wait. Just wait, beloved. Just wait. I don't care what you're facing. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Faith have never lost the battle. Just wait. I admit sometimes it looks bad. Sometimes it looks like nothing moving. But one Elijah say, tell us, go look again. Go look again. Servants say, I don't see nothing. Sometimes you got to go up. Behind. My God, he said, I don't see nothing. But he wouldn't take no for a man. He said, go look again. Why? Sir, I believe God. I believe it's going to be just like God said it. My God, he said, go look again. One place you tell God, hear me now. 
Why? I've done it according to thy word. The devil is a liar. He wants to weaken your faith in God. But he said, have faith. Whatever you hold in heaven for saints, hold your confidence in God. Whatever you hold in heaven for, hold your confidence in God. He said, oh, David said, I would have fainted unless I believed to see what? The goodness of the Lord. I believe Mother Newton waiting on God. I don't know. I see Sister Keisha walking here tonight. I don't know where she gone, but she walking here. But she had such a powerful testimony. So many times they said the enemy put death before her. But you got to know how. Why you think Paul, Paul spake this word in Hebrews 10, 35. Cast not. Cast not away. Therefore, your confidence. You know, the devil wants you to cast away your confidence. He said, I would have fainted mm -hmm. unless I believed yes. to see the goodness of the Lord God, in the land in of the minister Newton were very sick. He went through a great fight of affliction. Oh, yes. Yeah, great fight. Well, time. Mother Newton, yeah, there's Sister Keisha coming out with the kitchen. She have a powerful testimony. Yeah. My God, she, you know, they sing a song. I don't know if uh, uh, Laquan know it. Faith will bring. You know it? Bye, faith. Sing a verse of it for me. Look how the saints coming out. Get up there and sing it. Like a, Faith brought your daddy out. Yes, yes. Faith, but he was here. I tell him, I say, won't you just wait? He said, no. He wouldn't give up. I said, you sure you want to come up and stand up? He said, yes. You know it? Huh? Sarah, sing, sing a verse. Let them know we are contending. By faith. <laughs> I used to love to hear the late minister James Weber sing. We coming out, church. We coming out. The church coming out. Put the mic up. Put the mic up. Put the mic up. Come on. Oh, Bafe. Sing it. Let the world know we're coming out. Bafe. Tell the world we're coming out. Oh, Bafe. We're coming out. Oh, Bafe. Yes, sir. I want the world to know.
Sing it. saints. Church, we're coming out. I got somebody so don't wait till the back is I got shout now. Faith makers shout ahead of time. Faith makers shout ahead of time. My God, I don't see no failure in God. You know, it don't have to be a large multitude. You know you don't have to be a large multitude. No, you want me to show you how David, what David said in Psalms 100 uh, as they were singing the song, the scripture dropped in my heart. 105 uh, five Psalms, 105 and yeah. verse 12. Sometimes people look for the multitude. They look for the crowd. But it was just Peter and John. Nine. You know who, who was with Hezekiah? God, it was just Hezekiah. They were railing Jewish speech. They have all kind of language going against them. But Hezekiah went and get somebody believe like he believed. Amen. He went and get the prophet That's right, Bishop. Isaiah yes. and two of them touch and agree. Yes. I don't care what you're facing. If you can get somebody believe like you believe, let me hear what it says. Yes, Psalms 105 verse 12. Yes, sir. When they were but a few. How many? But a few. Men in number. When they, it don't have to be a multitude. <laughs> Sister Keisha don't get her victory now. Yes. <laughs> She's telling everybody about it. She tell, say, don't wait till the back. You know when you get your victory, you feel like telling? Yes, My God, somebody say, come. Yes. And what, babe? And let me tell you yes. what the Lord yes. have done for me. Amen. Come and hear. I will declare what the Lord. You know when God bring you out, you want to tell somebody? When they were but. When they were but a few men in number. I will never stop telling how God healed my heart. I will never stop telling it. Everywhere I go, I tell it. Paul went and stood before King Agrippa. And, and tell, he tell King Agrippa, you know when God bring you out, you don't never stop telling. My God, everybody you meet, you want to tell. Come and hear. I will declare. 
what the Lord. Uh, when God bring it out, you have something you never stop telling. Read all my this. When there were but a few men in number, yea, very few. He look again. Yea. And he said there were very, very few, few. Very few. And a stranger in it. You don't have to have a multitude. God can give it a victory with a few. All you got to do, just hold your confidence in God and walk up. People are going to talk. Let them talk. Let them do everything. But hold your confidence in God. You can't stop people from talking. That's right, baby. My God. You, know, you can't stop people from talking. No, sir. But one thing, you can hold your confidence That's in God. Right. Yea, very few. Yea, very few. Very few. Men in number. Yea, very few. And a stranger in it. Stranger in it. And when they went from one nation to another. One nation to another. From one kingdom to another people. Read on. He suffered no man to do them wrong. You know, God would know how to fight for his people. Right about that. He man. wouldn't let them do them wrong. That's it. He wouldn't let no man do them wrong. Sometimes it look like the enemy you're doing you wrong and oh, rejoicing, yes. but God, Amen. He ain't gonna suffer no man to do them wrong. To do them wrong. Yeah, He reproved kings for their sake. He reproved kings for their sake. Can you imagine God reproved kings for their sake? Yes. yes. Praise God. He suffered no man. No man to do them wrong. To do them wrong. Yeah, he reproved kings for their sake. Sometimes it looked like people doing you wrong. Amen. But don't look at it that way. That's it, Bishop. Sometimes it looked like it, what they're doing is working against you. Yeah. They stone Paul. Did they not stone Paul? That's right, Bishop. They drew him out the city for dead. Amen. Sometimes it looked like people doing you wrong, saints. But uh, you see, whatever, what thing were written at four time, yes. were written Father. for our learning. They stoned Paul. They drew him out the city for dead. They called him a Bible. He went through so much. But you know what Paul ended up? Things that going against you. And it looked like somebody doing you wrong. Yes. You know what Paul said in Romans 8, 28? Let me hear what he said. Oh, they stoned him. That's it, they drew him out the city for dead. They did so many Amen. things went against him. But in the end, yes. let me hear what Paul said. And we know. You see, God wanted to establish a testimony in you. God wanted to take you above. Hey, God, you go beyond that thing. Till you say, and we know. And we know that all things. The thing that going against you. Yes. The thing that looks so bad. They talk about you. They call you all kind of names. God. But hold your confidence in God. Why? Because we know. We know all, things, all things. Not some things. All things. They stone him. They beat him. They drew him out the city for dead. Did he not say that? But how many things? All things. Saints, you're going to go through some rough things along this highway of holiness. One place, Apostle Paul said, all men forsook him. Yes. But God stood by him. Amen. One place he said, Alexander the copper Simit did him much evil. Amen. But he said, you know what? I'm going to let God reward him. In the end, I want my hand to be clean. Why? Because we know all things work together for good to them that love God. It worked together for good. Sometimes you can't see no good in it. When they were beating Paul, stone Paul, you better uh, jump over there uh, before I sit down. When they were stoning him, but he said, all things. All things work together for good. Saints. No. That's why he said, don't render evil. That's it, for what? Overcome evil. Somebody doing the evil. Get on your knees and pray for them. Amen. Ninth your head, Lord. One place did he not say, don't lay it to their charge. 
That's the, that's that white skin bishop. Don't lay it to that stone, the man. But it's a lady, and don't lay it to the church. It's going to work out for my good. That's it. My God, read on. And we know. We know. Things work together for Make good. sure when you come out, your hands are clean. Amen. Make sure your hands are clean. Amen. Make sure your tongues are clean. That's it, Bishop. We know. That all things work together for good. God will take something bad. And bring good out of it. Work together for good. To them they love God. Just keep loving God. Keep serving God. Look all what Paul went through. But he said it worked together. Second Corinthians chapter 11. I believe verse 20 or 21. Before I sit down. What is it? Second Corinthians. Yes sir. That's why Paul said but we see Jesus. You better keep your eyes on God. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 21. Nine. Yes. Praise God. I think that's it. What is it? I speak concerning reproach. You don't think you're going to reproach? Some people all they want is the blessing. That's right. <laughs> he say if you suffer with him. Yeah, you reign with him. You're going to reign with him. Praise Some God. people they can't take reproach. My God, they're ready to fight their own battle. What what he says, sir? I speak concerning reproach. My as God. we have been weak. You don't have to fight. I speak concerning reproach. As though we have been weak. Read on. How be it? How be it? Whensoever any is bold. Read on. I speak foolishly. Read on. I am bold also. Read on. Are they Hebrews? Are they Hebrews? So am I. So am I. Are they Israelites? Yes. So am I. So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So Read on. I. Yes. Are they the ministers of Christ? Read on. I speak as a fool. I speak as a fool. I am more. I am more. In labor more abundantly. More abundantly. In strife above measure. Strife above measure. Read on. In prison more frequently. Read on. In death often. Death. Of, yes. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes. Five Save times one. he received forty stripes. Save one. Save one. Thrice was I beaten with the rod. Beat him with the rod. Praise God. Once was I stoned. They st yeah, they stoned him and drew him out the city for dead. But he said, and we know. Yes. All now, how can you get good out somebody whipping you with a rod? Somebody stoning you. But he said, we know. All things. And you know what? Peter came behind and said, the love think it not strange. Concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. What he said here, sir? Yes, of the Jews five times receive I forty scribes, save one. Save one. Thrice was I beaten with the rod. Read on. Once was I stoned. Thrice Read on. I suffered a shipwreck. Shipwreck. A night and a day. But how you see good in it? Hmm. All yeah. things. Come on, Bishop. Can you see good? Praise God. Can you count it joy? Yes, yes. Can you count that trying of your faith? Yes. And put it to your salvation? Yes. My God, my God. You're going to go through something. That's right, Bishop. But you better let God fix it for you. Don't fight your own back of things. Don't, you know, sometimes you can defeat. Can you not pray your way out? Amen. Can you not pray your way out and turn it over to God? Something's going to happen to you. You don't even know how it happened. You don't know why and you don't know where. But you better turn that thing over to God. What is it? Read on. I have been in the deep. In the deep? In the journey of in pearls of water. Read on. In pearls of robbers and pearls of my own countrymen. Own countrymen? And pearls by the heathen. By the heathen. And pearls in the city. In the city. And pearls in the wilderness. In the wilderness. And pearls in the sea. In the sea. And pearls among false brethren. What kind of brethren? False brethren. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we know. All things. All things. That's what it said, Bishop. Glory. Can you get joy in it? We glory in tribulation. Yes. Knowing. Tribulation. Tribulation. Work it patient. That thing what you're going through, it working something out Hallelujah. for you. 
You may not see your way out, but God used that thing to make you. Sometimes you pray, Lord, strength me, Lord. I want to be strong. I want to fossil. But you know, God can turn that thing around. Amen. Don't worry about it. Right. You never hear what Peter said? The love think it what? Not strange. Right? Not strange. Concerning the fire trials. Some people all they want is the praise and the glory. But can you endure? Come on, Bishop. That fire and trials. Yes. Something's gonna come to try you. They love. Thank you, not strange. Concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. To try who? Try you. Bishop, please. Bishop, please. Bear with me. No. You. Yes. Amen. There's going to be a day. Yes. Amen. What is it? Me? For the last 10 years. He's going to take you out there. My God. He's going to take you out there. It's one thing you can glory. When everything goes. This is the Keisha she went through. So sometimes she used to call me with. Tears. I can't go to work, sir. Oh, this thing. And I said, hold your car. He said, God, show you anything. I'm not. I said, look, hold God. Just don't. A child of God, the late mother Billups went to sleep. Singing, a child of God, who oh, accept no defeat. Beloved. Count it. All joy. Can you get some joy out of that test you're going through? You don't have to go around getting mad and fussy. Can you put it on your salvation? The Bible says, consider him, lest you be weary. Sister Tikisha, wait on hers. She got the victory. She came with a mighty testimony Sunday night. God, she stirred up the whole church. But think about it. Think about what she endure. If you can just endure going through that. I'm holding God for Mother Newton. If she done labor so faithfully. I'm spreading myself before God. Nine my head and Hallelujah. crying out to God. Yes, Have Lord. time I get in my bed. Sometime almost seven in the morning. My God. I, I tell God Lord. You the same yesterday. Today and for us. Saints, you know, God wants us to come together. Put away the strife. Put oh, away yes. animosity. Oh, yes. You Amen. can't get a prayer too full of strife. Amen. God is not the order of confusion. Yes. You got to bow yourself. The late Bishop O.C. Lewis were going to. Mother, Mother Lewis can tell you. I believe I were going to. I called Minister New. I said, try go over. He take his two sons. Laran and Laran. They went over there to help. Then a rush and turn around. We were over there till late. Amen. Bishop Lewis saying, live so you can be there for one another. That's all I'm telling you. Live so you don't have to have no animosity. Late El, uh, Bishop Bleach were talking about El Wesley Ma. He tell the truth. We went out there, go all the way to which is a cancer. We came back. He told me, Bishop, some strange thing happening. Can you come again? I called Bishop, please. He called me, Bishop. I'm he heading on out. Went out there, pray. He said, told his wife, hey, Sandra, you don't mind. I want Bishop Sam come lay right beside me. I'm going through some strange thing. But I want him in the bed lay right beside me. Saints, you don't know who's going to give you that Man. cup of water. You don't know who's going to give you. I'm telling you, saints, get rid of animosity. A bit of, you know what, Paul? You know what he said? Let's end a root. root yeah. a bit of it. Yeah. Don't let that thing turn root. Yeah, that's right, I'm Bishop. telling you now, yeah. ain't nobody worth for you to let something turn into a root. That's right, Bishop. See that we love one another? With a what kind of heart? I ain't going to let nobody cause me to get bitter. A root of bitterness? No, sir. I want to have the love of Christ deep down in my heart. 
I went out there and he talked with me. He said, come in the bed, lay beside me. Lay right beside him. He got his son, Juna. He turned to Juna. He said, I signed my contract. Juna said, what do you mean by? What do you mean by Bishop son? I didn't want to alarm him, but he said, I signed my contract. My God, he get everything straight. I said, all right, I'm gone. By the time I get back, Mother Mark called me, he gone. You see, saying, make sure you leave here right. Amen. Ain't nothing worthwhile. I'm going around. The Bible says, what does profit a man if he gain how much? That thing that I'm fighting at, does it work, my soul? Yes, Your soul is precious. None can give to God a ransom for you. Your soul is very precious. Amen. Don't let nobody take you down with them. What is that, sir? Yes, and not only so. Not only so. We glory in tribulation. You're going to go through some tests. You're going to go through some trouble. But you can get joy. Amen. All the things you've been through. You can, some strange thing going to come at you. Right about that, but pray up so when it come, be what is it? Beloved. Building up yourself. That's the other part. Think it not strange. Amen. Four, four and twelve. First Peter. But beloved, think your faith going to be tried, saints. Your faith going to be tried. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Your faith is going to be tried. Amen. What did he say? Beloved. Beloved. Think it not strange. Think it not strange. Concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. Something coming to try your saints. It's coming to try all of us. That's it, Bishop. You know, sister, sister Tamika Stan, uh, sister... <laughs> Sister Keisha, she stand her test. Sister Keisha, she went through a mean. She was up late, couldn't sleep at night. Call for prayer. Please pray. Please pray. Sir. But I said, hold God. Oh, let's say, I said, hold God. Hold God. Your test coming, casting away therefore your confidence, which have such great recompense of reward. You have need of patience yes. after you've done the will of God. Something coming, beloved. Yes. I'm telling all each and that go for me. So you think it was an easy thing when I get electrocuted? I watch my flesh just rip apart mm. and lock together. And the flesh hanging over. Mm. The thing just, it ripped from up here and hung right down. And then the, my, I look and hear my shirt in my heart was on fire. Oh Lord. All I went to do is to help somebody to do good. But if when you do good and you suffer for it. Help them. The mother, the mother keep complaining every time she come to church. She said, ah, it seems like my house is going to burn. I'm a smell fire. So I tell the brother, let's go up there after service. Mm -hmm. In my suit. Mm -hmm. Went up there to help her do good. See what it is burning. Look. Move the breaker. The thing burn and both bar come together. Mm -hmm. And when it come together and shoot fire. And grab my hand, screwdriver, and I see fire shoot through my, right through it. My God, and uh, it, it wouldn't turn me loose. I keep calling, gee, it wouldn't turn me loose till all the power went out in my body. My God, uh, I call Bishop Goodwin, one he said, my God, son, go down and let me clean it up. Cut off the dead skin at the hospital. You know the word. My God. Your faith going to be tried, saints. All I'm here to tell you. You got faith going to be tried. Amen. You're going to be tested. 
But you better hold your confidence in God. Think it not strange. Fire is trying. Something coming to try you. Say. Some strange things going to happen. But rejoice. But in the midst of it, do what? Rejoice. Rejo can you get joy out that test you're going through? You know, you can hold it till you get joy, but rejoice. In as much as you partakers of Christ's son. You partake, consider him what he went through. Yes, Lord. Lest you will be weary. Hallelujah. Think about all what he Hallelujah. went through. They beg him to come down. Yes. But he wouldn't come down. Amen. Hold it, saints. You can hold it. If you hold it, I mean, listen that strong testimony. I don't envy nobody for the victory. That's right. Sister, Keisha. think about all what Sister Keisha went through, but she came out. She stood before the whole church and tell her victory. Man. Now she is sitting up. What's the matter? When the Lord deliver me, my God is going to be something. I don't have no doubt. The Lord gonna bring me out. God bless you. God bless you.